Hello, I'm Dr. Greg Winteregg. I'm a dentist and a partner at MGE. And this week's tip is a continuation of my two-part series on the doctor and the hygienist coordinating treatment planning and case acceptance for existing patients. Now, first of all, as far as I know, in every state in the land, the hygienist is not allowed to diagnose. Well, that's the beauty of an existing patient is somewhere in the chart, the doctor already has diagnosed it. So the hygienist and the doctor now need to coordinate in a meeting, five minutes, four minutes, six minutes, not a big, long meeting before the day starts. So the hygienist should quickly go through the charts, look at what cases, what the treatment plan was prior, what has not been accepted, and just quickly jot down on a sticky note or a piece of paper on this patient, two crowns on this patient, a bridge, implant, whatever it might be. So there has to be that coordination, which literally just takes a couple of minutes. Then the hygienist during the treatment, while doing the cleaning or the scaling and root planing, whichever it might be, begins to reiterate the treatment that has been diagnosed. Now we know some patients are going to be resistant. You can expect that, but you have to persist through that. And again, just like in the last video, say, listen, if you were a new patient, this is what we would be telling you. And hygienist, say you have areas of concern. You have areas that have been noted for years. There's areas here that are slightly getting worse. Whatever it might be, just to get the patient engaged into at least thinking about it and break through some of the brick wall that they're putting up. Then another reason for this meeting, the four to six minute meeting before the day starts is the hygienist can't have the patient talking about it and the doctor is in a rush or the doctor walks in and it's not coordinated and says, oh, we'll talk about it the next time. That can cause a clash between the doctor and the hygienist. It makes you look not coordinated. It can leave the patient in confusion. Well, do I really need this or don't I? So the key here is that the doctor and the hygienist are coordinated on the same page in just a few minutes every day, and then there's a quick list made of the treatment that you're going to talk to the patient about. Because ultimately, the ultimate purpose and objective is that the patient keeps their teeth for the rest of their life. We know that patients with teeth live 10 years longer than patients without teeth. So just sit down with that purpose at the beginning of every day and let's help every patient get the treatment that they need. And that's my tip of the week.